everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a quick overview of what k-12 is about i've been getting a lot of questions about like the actual program what the kids get what's the curriculum like what's the actual program like what's the back office or like what's the interface how the classes go what do the kids really have to do so i'm going to give you like a behind the scenes of what k-12 is like so that if you are in a specific area where you have to pay out of pocket and you want another alternative for your kids if you're doing school like the virtual learning through your school district then you'll know how much money is going into this and you're going to get what is worth out of it so i'm going to be talking and then some things will show up on the screen so that you guys can get an understanding and idea um behind it um so when you um, first log into K-12, you are giving a, um, like a pretty much like overview of one of the child's information. So, you know, you might, um, need to like do the drop down button and see what like was specifically, um, for each student that you have or which each child that you have, um, for their schedule and the assignments that they're required to do. You'll get their schedule on one side, on the right side, and then you get your um, what the assignments that are due on the left side. Now, when you go through the um, back office, you'll be able to click on the subject that you want for your student, and it'll actually give you like an, a mock, or it'll let you log in to their classroom based off of as if um, as if you are the student. Um, excuse me because like i'm out of breath all the time so <laughs> this video might be a little bit choppy because i don't want to be constantly um <sighs> breathing like crazy so um you're actually able to go through the classroom as if you're the child and then you can go through um the assignments and actually like the the <sighs> The dashboard or the overview for that specific subject whether if it's math science whatever the case may be um it'll give you a rundown of the whole week um that's the only difference i don't like between elementary and middle and high school because their interface is different and i'll i'll show you what i mean by that um so at least with the middle school and high school students the teachers will try and give you a rundown of what their assignments are for the whole week and then as class goes on then you'll be able to get a, um, a recording of the assignment um the class of that day and you'll also get notes the kids will get notes they don't necessarily have to write out notes but the teachers sometimes will tell them during class get your notebooks out so that they can write their own notes um, even if they don't do that I think it's better for students to kind of like follow along and write their own notes that's just me personally because i know for me i need to write things down in order for me to memorize it um especially if it's science math specifically math <laughs> um or like history or something it's the only way i am able to retain the information so i like that they even though they offer notes for the students for the subject that they're in um they still like kind of get the kids to be participate and you know make create their own notes and you know try and figure out a way that will help them study and figure it um retain the information themselves what i also like about k-12 is that um you can go in into individual um classrooms and see it specifically for like what's the assignments for the whole week and then they'll pull up for the whole week or for the whole month and then you can see all the assignments that are assigned for the students so like for me i try to go in like early in the morning on a monday and see what the teachers had scheduled for that week so like whatever units they're working on whatever assignments they have to do that's going to be due and i actually personally go into the modules myself and try to print out everything that they might need now this week has been crazy because of like it's the first week i'm still trying to figure out like how each teacher is working near to their classrooms and everything like that so for me it wasn't like i was doing that like faithfully now that i like you know played around with the the website and everything i have an understanding of how the teachers are going to run their website i mean their website their classes <laughs> so that way before the the week starts or before the kids even get up and get into their classrooms i can go in 
write down or print out everything that I need for the older kids and then, you know, get it situated. Now, for elementary school, the interface is completely different. Now, when you log in and you switch to the, ch to the other child's um, profile, it'll give you like the same layout as the other kids. But then once you click on the classroom, it'll take you to a whole different website um, with a different interface and everything. And that way you can see the different modules that they have to do for whatever class it is. Now, I'm giving you an example of what it looks like for math because math... It, it because math is completely different than other subjects um, the modules that you're seeing here for elementary school um, for middle and high school it's not as interactive as this now they do have like you know videos sometimes or sometimes they have to you know click through and read the modules um, but for the most part or they'll give them links but for the most part it's less kitty or childish if that makes sense it's more you know sophisticated I guess you can say um and it's the same thing with them they can go through the modules and then in some instances they'll have um a link to go to a pdf for them to print out now in some cases you don't have to print it out they provide workbooks for you so that you don't have to print out the assignment that they have set up for that module for that day um I know for some of my kids sometimes like I know for uh other parents that I've seen in our Facebook group where they didn't get some of the materials yet so at least they give like if you're the type of parent that likes to have a copy for yourself or whatever it gives you that option now for journey I can actually go through and look at what he needs for the week or I can plan in ahead so it gives me the option to plan ahead our materials that you need for today and I can actually pull out everything that I need for him specifically for what he, materials he needs for that day now for the older kids is a little bit harder it's a little more tedious work because I don't have that option for them like if I click on one of their profiles it's gonna say no materials for today or there's nothing to plan in advance um, which is which is fine it just means that us parents have to be more involved and more you know hands-on when it comes to helping the kids be prepared and ready for school every single day but that's not an issue for me because I work from home so I have kind of a leeway with it another option another thing that I really really like about k-12 is that once you X out of the impersonation of a high school student or a middle school student it takes you to a back office where you're able to see your students grades what they're working on and if you're dealing with some situations like what I'm dealing with or what I've done been dealing with previously it'll actually give you a timestamp of how long the students spent on that module and how many screens like how long what I don't even know what I'm saying how long they spent on each module for that lesson and then it can give you an understanding and you can actually click on these assignments and you can actually go through and see if it's actually worth 30 seconds a minute two minutes like really how long they they should be spending time on these modules and then you can also go back and check to see like grades um great um, assignments that they submitted um, if they have like assignments that needs to be handed in and your child uploaded it you can actually go in with the assignments like right now you can't really see any assignments but if she uploaded like a, a word document or a worksheet that she had to submit in or he um, you're able to actually click on it gives you a link where you can click on it and then it'll download it for you and then you can actually look at what your child submitted for the assignment um, one thing I like about K-12 for me is that the students don't have to be in class during the designated hours and times that they're there. Um, I'm getting out of breath. But um, they do have the classes recording and then you're able to go back. And as long as they log in for that day and do the assignments for that day, they're counted for. Um, as on, Same thing with the assignments. The assignments are usually not due until midnight. And that gives parents like um, that work or like me who work from home, it gives us time to be able to help the student so that way they're not forced to try and rush to get the assignment done before dinner time. Um, what else is another thing I like about it? 
I think that's really it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Um, and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. I hope this video was really helpful so that you guys can get an understanding of the back office and the curriculum of what they're teaching and everything. And everything that you're seeing here, um, it's just a glimpse of it. Um, I didn't really want to go into too detail, too too detailed of it because then um this video will be too long but i just wanted to give you like a rundown of what you'll experience what your child is going to experience and oh that's another thing they don't use zoom for the classrooms they use um a program called blackboard collaborations and the reason why i like this is because the only person they really see is the teacher so it's not like you get a whole bunch of boxes of other students where they can be distracted um and the teachers have the ability to disable the chat and they have the ability to mute all the mics and everything if the child um if there's an issue in the classroom at the bottom of the screen you're able to see um another tab and that's another classroom where a teacher another teacher can pull students from if they're struggling or not understanding the material provided and that's why i like k-12 and how they have their setup and their structure with the classrooms and everything so yeah um please give this video a like only not because of the algorithm but because i know there's other parents out there that are skeptical and not really happy with the way the school district or their school district is handling virtual learning right now and i know there's a lot of schools that are talking about returning back to school at the end of the sem um, semester or quarter depending how your school does it and a lot of parents are like eh, no i don't want to do that so definitely give this video a like so that other parents can find it and that way if they, they feel like k-12 is an opportunity for them to be able to help their kids stay home and be safe from the coronavirus as well as um giving them a better option to learn and have a better understanding of the materials that they're learning for for the whole school year so yeah i hope this was helpful um shout out to my uh, mama 12 who actually um suggested this video and asked me if i can do like a more detailed um of what k-12 is like um go check out her channel go subscribe and yeah i'll see y'all in the next video